Carlisle Brake and Friction has development centers in North America, Asia, and Europe. But today we're at the Solon R&D headquarters in Ohio, and I'm going to take you on a quick tour, if you'll follow me, uh, of our development and testing capabilities. We're in the analytical lab. This is where we conduct a lot of development and testing of the actual materials. We have optical microscopes. We also have a scanning and electron microscope. And then we have some other test equipment for measuring thermal conductivity and a differential scanning calorimeter, which is used to uh, measure when resins cure and how long they take and what temperatures they cure at. And then we also uh, can do TGAs, which allow you to fingerprint uh, friction material and be able to identify it at any point in the future. This is Dynamometer 52. This is our uh, most sophisticated dynamometer. It uh, is a dry dyno. It has climate control that can control the air temperature, speed, and humidity of the air coming into the test chamber. And it has a 250 horsepower motor. And we've tested a variety of uh, applications out here, ranging from military vehicles to uh, NASCAR to uh, Harley Davidson motorcycles. This dynamometer is Dynamometer 16. It's used for clutch button and metallic development. And uh, one thing we do here is we develop all of our own control systems. So this dynamometer had a recent controls upgrade. Uh, the software is proprietary and is written by us uh, and is actually up, kept updated. And we, uh, we, we try to update the dynos every uh, couple years to make sure we're on top of the latest technology. This is Dynamometer 17. It's used for uh, wet break material development. So with this dynamometer, we can uh, simulate wet breaking conditions for uh, mining and construction vehicles. Now we're in our hand sheet paper lab. We have the ability on site here to make all of our new paper formulations as hand sheets and test them on our dynamometers. So this is the hand sheet where we actually start with a slurry, dump it into this chamber, and remove the water by a vacuum process. And we can then press the rest of the water out on this, on this new press that we have. And at that point, it's ready to be uh, behind you here is a fume hood where we can saturate that hand sheet with uh, the resident of our choice and at that point then it's ready to be turned into a part.